probably seven or eight different yoga classes, and I didn't really like any of them. Um, they, they really wasn't for me, to be perfectly honest. I just thought that I wasn't really meant for this. Number one, like just going into down dog, it was like, um, I looked like, I looked like I was like, this too big, you know? And I was like, okay, am I doing it right, you know? And then I was like sweating before I even started the thing. And, um, and then it was like, I don't know. Anyway, I found this vinyasa, um, which makes so much sense. It was integrated breath with the body. Kind of in a, uh, and I'm like, so not dancey, but there's like this dance that goes on with the breath and with this physical movement, and it just was great. So I got into a shanga um, and started traveling uh, to California doing this. Um, I guess after about a year, I started going to some of these teacher training things um, with some pretty cool people. This guy, Larry Schultz, was my first teacher training teacher out in San Francisco. And then um, went to Tim Miller down in, in San Diego, and then um, I did both of those programs. They were both like six weeks, and um, I was flying every weekend to California. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway. Um, That's not your not the affordable way to do it. Yeah, airfare and um, just the time. The time is just you know flying out Thursday, come back on you know Sunday night, right to the red eye, and go to work on Monday. And it was crazy. But um, anyway, I did that. I had fun. And then I just started getting into Ashtanga big time. And Ashtanga is you familiar with Ashtanga at all? Ashtanga is kind of like you familiar with it at all? It's like a um, it's a very serious uh, variation of what we do in here. And I, I'm not into serious at all. I'm not getting the fun. So it was much too serious for me, but I got really serious with it. So after about 10 years in the practice, you know, I knew exactly you know, where everything was coming from. And I went to this place up in New York called um, Home Yoga Center, and there's uh, this guy, Dharma Mitra. Now they have these big posters that have like all these postures, like 908 postures. And this guy, Dharma Mitra, was the guy that was in all the pictures. And you know, I went to his, he did, a, uh, did an intensive training and uh, he, was, he was just a really cool guy, you know? He was like 60, I think, at the time, or 65, when I took his thing. And um, he started telling me, not me, but he told the group about something. He was sharing something. And um, I mean, I learned from Tim Miller, I learned from Larry Schultz, Richard Freeman, you know, I mean, these guys were like renowned yogis, you know? And he told me something that was completely opposite of what I had heard from that. And I said to him, I said, well, I, I heard it this way. And then he said to me, he says, you take yourself very seriously, don't you? And I said, I said, I said you know, I guess I, I didn't realize I had, but I really wanted to. I took myself much too seriously than what we're doing here. And then I realized that I needed to take it down a little bit. And um, started, I found Vinyasa, which was a, you know, kind of a branch of Ashtanga, but without the seriousness. Much variety, you can do what you want. You can kind of have fun. You know, you're not strict, it's not like you have to do it this way, you have to, you know, because that was just too much. And then vinyasa is what I've been doing for the past several years. And now we have a yoga college that we've had for a couple of years. Um, we certify teachers to, we certify students to become teachers. And a lot of the students that take the teacher training are not people that really have this burning desire to become a teacher, necessarily. They're people that want to kind of really understand the practice. And from there, you know, a lot of people decide to become teachers because it's just fun. So you want to share this. Once you start to get into this, then you want to share it because it's just good. It's good to share it. From the foundation, whereas um, my type of yoga kind of starts from pranayama and meditation into asana. So um, the ultimate goal of both of our yogas is the same, which is uh, meditation and motion. So ultimately, hopefully, you get to a place where you're just so in your zone, in your body, in your breath, that your body is guiding you in this dance that you described. Um, but what is great for our school is all of my studies have been quite different than his, and we pull all that together to share a whole bigger picture of yoga in our school. A lot of vinyasa-based schools are very physical in their teachings, and they stay with the physical part of the asana. We do that, and we teach how to teach asana, and how to break down the poses and how to be safe and how to know what muscle groups you're using in the poses. But we also teach a lot related to pranayama, meditation, and the philosophy of yoga that's behind it. And um, I think the two 
of us together um, definitely um, also enables you to see different pictures of yoga because we, we haven't always done poses exactly the same and we both learned from many different people along the way and we are able to share all of that experience and tell them, instead of just saying hey, this is how it's done, it's done this way. It's not always done this way. There's, there's a whole spectrum. And they're both right. Ways. And they're both right. You say, what's the number one principle behind yoga box vinyasa? Everyone, if they answer correctly, which they all will, drive this in, is safety. Safety is first, no matter what. So this practice has to be safe. What happens a lot is you'll see going into facilities, maybe even a country club, or you know, and they don't necessarily um, if you say I teach yoga, this is all oh, great. You know, how long have you been teaching? Oh, two years. Oh man, that's great. We're looking for a yoga teacher. Say, you know, you teach. It's like, okay, well, yoga is like this thing here with all of these different opportunities within yoga and all these branches. And we'll go over the family tree of yoga and how it kind of relates. But someone says, oh, I'm going to take a yoga class. And, you know, it's not like they're going to go there and do the same type of practice that you can go anywhere else. No one knows what kind of yoga they're going to teach there. What also happens is people don't necessarily have the training to give them the credibility of you know, helping someone safely navigate through moving their body around. And as a result of that, people get injured and say, oh, yoga didn't work, you know. And we want yoga to work for everyone, so we want to make sure that safety and understanding the anatomy and how it relates to postures is really critical. You know, that's one of our biggest emphasis points.